Salutations upon all points of the shining triangle. Uh, talking about the body of light and how I, I, I talked about how art how artistic interpretations of your body can body of light can be deceiving or something like that and the reason and I brought that up as a precursor to this because your light is body it's, it works both ways this is how <laughs> so Okay, let me show you. See, likes to make it try to be pretty, but there's always a little chaos creeping in. What is this? This is mess. A little bit of mess on the table or something, right? <laughs> well, this is a part of my emotional and intellectual body that merges with the reality around it. My body comes this far. I reach this far. You see me reach. And then there's energies coming off of that. Whether or not you see auras or not, it does. I, it's the heat. You can see heat come off of people, right? It's a, you can measure stuff. Uh, electromagnetism. Every cell that's alive has an electromagnetic resonance to the cells around it. That's what connects them. But this is what I'm talking about is that Everybody talks about being a cell in a body, but few people live every second like they are. Like, every move, like... And it's not about thinking that. It's about knowing when you have an impulse. Unless you're, like, a drug addict or insane. The impulse is often correct. Like, even when you're a drug addict. But usually it's like, uh, you're addicted to something, so you... you You'll, be in, you'll have impulses to do it, but this again comes back around to, can you really be wrong in life? Because you'll always learn a lesson of one kind or another. Uh, you're a filtering system of God. You are receiving information constantly, right? Your ego... And your desire to slum, uh, like, uh, simply ignore the truth or wake up or play, dance with it. But we, you, miss, you can't understand it either. Like, say you, you really want to get it, but then it just doesn't make any sense. So, there's always a uh, tug and a pull with it. A beat, baby. There's this person that got a hold of me on Instagram, talking about, uh, fuck it, uh, talking about, uh, I don't know if they're looking at this picture or a couple of the other ones, but, uh, they went to school for acoustic, they studied sound and stuff for music, okay, they were doing music ther theory or in therapy, both maybe, I don't know, but they... Got to talking about they're working on trying to oh certain sounds or shapes that's where the picture came in so and also positioning and apparently building some sort of uh, beat or tone to project you into a psychedelic state DMT state as in. Like, uh, what's the word? I was just talking about lacrimology with somebody the other day. And they were like, what is that? What are you talking about? And then, um, uh, I, tr I tried to tell them. I don't know if they understood. But anyway, this person is trying to make a... Yeah, make that accessible. Like, so here's the thing: we we do a lot of rituals, which you go through a lot of trauma to have. 
a heavy emotional experience that compel that not compel pushes the limits of the body pushes the body to their limits. Did I say that backwards? Jesus Christ. I'm fucking tired. So that's the lacrimology part. The like, you don't break down and start crying. It's your brain. It produces a series of chemicals together with like uh, all your hormones. All your... Dude, okay. Do you know what a mushroom can do? Do you know what a mushroom can produce chemically? Um, like be like antibiotic and stuff wise, like all of them, like any kind of situation. That's where it's like how we figured them out. Do you know how they do that? It's because they don't have a fucking ego fucking their brain up. <laughs> they are a collective consciousness that is working together. Uh, and active host transmission. <laughs> That's what the word is. The word is entheogenetic possessed mammals passing it on to other people. It's a living ecosystem <laughs> of bio uh, uh, like Biosymbiotic uh, creatures working together. That's what we call life. That's how the world works. <laughs> that is how the world works. The monkeys ate the mushrooms. So your body of light is 50 feet around you in all directions. And the surroundings of your neighborhood, your probably your yard, I guess, front street, maybe, is the, uh, a, a border where you start to mix in. But you probably live with people. Or you might live alone. You might have animals and plants that live with you. This is how things are interconnected, that you can't see you, your body as just some limited thing. You are interconnected with everything around you. As far as you can see, <laughs> as you're projecting reality, as you move, it's like a treadmill, it comes up to you. Your consciousness is merging with it. That makes sense? Merkaba to Merkaba. You walk through the world. Your, the light of your being manifests as physical reality. That's why Valis is trash on the ground. And shit like that. When Philip K. Dick was having his experience because there is nothing that isn't being expressed to you that isn't part of the information that you're supposed to have to use like so growing your light body is becoming aware of this outer space that you call outside yourself but the more you grow your like the reason Tiferet is Christ's body uh, is because the intellect is can be basic bitch and obtain Christ consciousness you don't have to be smart don't have to be super genius. You have to be willing, able, and, um, you know, but you have to, the Sephiroth have names. Okay, it says it. Meridian Ohms, Waterfall, 
sea of names that says La Cascade of First Names, Prayer de, prayer de Nomes, which is pronouns. That That is a reference. Here, let me show you. So you don't think I'm crazy. This shirt is called Babel. It says what I just said, Le Prayer de Nomes. Uh, which is a waterfall first names. The reason it's called Babel is a biblical, you know, Babel, biblical reference. Because in the Bible, it'll say, and Isaac begat, and they begat, 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 begat. I see a series of names cascading down through a page. Those names, when they're like that, each name has a meaning. Right? Did I say this before? Did I upload the video that I said it? Been over. <laughs> but if you look up the meanings for the names, figure out which name. I mean, you can do it all kinds of ways. It's like like Demetria and studying the values of like Hebrew letters and stuff can lead all sorts of ways. But the meanings of Pronouns uh, can tell stories. Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. Like maybe do that for um, the CD. Maybe maybe Trav does that for the CD. Meridian Lopes. Because they're all names, right? I don't have that album here there with me. I have to get online. I can do that. Hey, your body is light. No, wait. Your light is body. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's something to think about. It's one of the reasons why I have a garden. Uh, there's a saying, tend to the garden that you can reach. Which is like, like the ground they let you touch. You know what I mean? If you can touch it, if you're allowed to, you should you should tend to it and in every way like pick up garbage when you see it when you have an impulse that you know is right you should do it you should, as soon as you start thinking about it you're already two steps behind because by the time you're thinking you could have already been halfway done or done with it depending on what the action is um, and every time you do that feel better, start breathing a little lighter, your diaphragm starts easing up a little bit more. Filter out the shit that comes to you, the information that's coming to you. That's all that's required. Endure it. Endure the duration. Endure the madness. That's why when you take LSD or an theogen, you're having a religious experience sometimes, usually, because it cleanses your perception of the constant God coming at you. But it's always like that. Always. Whether you're feeling it or not, bro. Especially when you're not. Oh, man. Angry. I live, <laughs> I live with my cousin right now. He is so much like, uh, he's older than me, but it's exactly how I was after, I mean forever, <laughs> as I was. That's what, that's how I figured out my new book. Not my new book, but my, uh, that book. Book of Hewas as I was. Because that's what led to now. And that's uh, what the book is. It's everything. It's my, it's my life that I was able to keep a uh, record of. Like, uh, 
it's interesting that they start talking about the anima and animas because that's what this book is all about. This is archetypes. These are these are the archetypes inside my brain. I guess I don't have light. I guess. Oh wait. Let there be more light. Thank you. Yeah. So, the, but anyway, I, I, whatever. So, you know, like it's a, uh, it's all like imagery, words, but a lot of the times it'll be a page dedicated to. Oh, well, there she is. The Anima, Anima, Anima? <laughs> oh, Pussifer. So Pussifer takes many forms. The many breasted daughters of Zeus. But Nui tells you, you know, promises in the Book of the Law that she will reveal herself unto you, you know, who she is in the flesh, so. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. There we go. Some body of light stuff. The... See, I've been here for years. This isn't me. That's Jeremy Zook. He helped me draw circles, though. So I, I put him on a page helping me draw circles. Uh, he helped me draw the first tree, like this, like the circles for it, it took fucking, like he, mm, days, days, we drew circles for days, and then I started laying a pattern on it, you know, anyway, the point is, you build up your light body, oh, by doing certain work, by recognizing the matter the very stuff around you is your light body. That's why you set up altars or make things sacred. Because it is you. It is the extension of you. Like, where you stay, there it is. There's the tree. Dust, tree, dust. So you can see how they all have fruits on the ends. Oh. I had it all. I had it all drawn except for Keither. I had it down to Malkuth. And Keith is unattainable anyway. So, man, I had the fucking thing drawn. And it is. I know it looks all funky junky, but it had duct tape on the back. I could have fucking nailed it to something and painted over it and sprayed it. Like, I just wanted it. I don't even know what they did with it. They won't even tell me what they did with it. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it again, and again, and again. Fuzz. I gave it to Chris to hold. He, uh, died. Yeah. So, can't blame you for not keeping it now, but there is light in the darkness. That's my stepdad, Dawn, who died, he killed himself, this must have been in 2004 or 5, I don't know, but it was the time, there was a time I was, I was at the chapel and Allison was talking about bad things happening and we should recognize and talk about them. And I raised my hand to talk, and then when it was time to talk, I didn't. Uh, I, that's one of the few things I feel like that was stupid. I don't know why. I, I regret I regret a few things in my life, but for some reason, that's one of them. I should have just talked about them when I was up there. But I was probably arguing with you know, some stupid bitch instead of paying attention. You know, 
Because the fruit will break you if you're not careful. There's a little boy. There's the tree back here, too, but you can't hardly really see it. The sister Jennifer Lee. My stepbrother Damien. All extensions of us. All parts of us that dream about or whatever. You know that there's no such thing as alpha in fucking nature. That the wolves don't do alpha. They do families. And that families live together until the fucking pups get new families. And they move. If they choose to move somewhere else, they do. But the, the alphas come from wolves who are kept in captivity. Any animal that's kept in captivity will do the alpha thing like a, like a prisoner I don't know why I thought of that I should stop rambling your light is body this mess is mine my directly up in my uh, my self being this is it and, and then but that is what half the work is, is understanding that and working to do better and then taking that because this is just stuff you're like a wave as you move that moves with it that that positive being that you are that's 50 feet of you and wherever you go you take that with you that that room that you cleaned up and that town you helped plant and whatever the fuck you did stays back there and as you move you affect all the things you go through like a wave the water isn't flying around there's energy moving through it that makes it go whoa man <laughs> whoa dude that's what you are. You are energy, walking through reality, reorganizing it as you move through it. As you interpret it, see if there's anything that needs anything. <laughs> Does it, moves on. The more you run around and don't do stuff, every time you drive down a street and you see all the horrible things, it's you stirring the pot. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Be still. As I watch people drive around.